Hi, I wanted to make a video for new Jeep owners. Some things I wish I knew, some things I would have done differently um, had I known any better at the time I bought this Jeep. There was a lot of things I didn't know about Jeeps. So, one of the first things I had done was this rock slider. It's cool, I like it, it makes a nice step to get in the Jeep, offers a lot of protection. But you see that third rail that hangs down? That is That limits your ground clearance. Which, on the plus side, if I hit anything, it's going to hit that before it hits anything on the bottom of the Jeep. But, on the negative side, it's about two inches less clearance. And every inch of clearance is really important when you're doing your breakover angles and stuff. Um, I got a two and a half inch TerraFlex lift with shocks and coils. That's all fine. Had I had it to do over again, and I think I would have saved up a little longer and done a three and a half or four inch lift. Uh, the reason being, I had to put a half inch uh, uh, body lift so that I have um, three inches of lift so that I can run my 35s on the trail without scraping my fenders. I also had to cut my fenders. That's good. I would do that again for sure. I love cutting the fenders instead of buying fenders. Um, I think they look pretty good. Almost as good as some you can buy. And of course, it was free to cut them and relocate my uh, marker. Um, I bought this awesome Wild Hog front bumper. I would not do that again. It's too much steel. It comes out too far. It comes too close to my tire. I don't need this bar here. It just adds weight for no reason. I thought it would sort of protect the corner of the Jeep. Uh, but it's not really protecting anything any better than this. It already has this. And actually, if I had it to do over again, I would get a stubby. A stubby bumper with a bull bar would give me a place to mount my lights. It would be a lot less weight, which means my front end would be a little higher so it would have the effect of giving me a bigger lift because it wouldn't sag the front end down as much because of the weight and um, this little bit that sticks over I like the way it looks it doesn't really come into play I push a bunch of bushes down with this part not so much with that part and it it limits my approach angle a little bit um, Without that, my tire could grab onto a little bit more. I mean, probably it doesn't come into play that often. It's not like I've ever scraped something there and couldn't get my tire on it, but still, it doesn't serve a purpose and it's weight. So I wouldn't do that again, um, even though I like the look of it a lot. Same thing back here. I bought this um, Smitty Built bumper to match the front bumper because it has these little hook horn thingies. Uh, but those come real close to this tire. If I ever wanna go to 37s, I'm gonna have to cut that off right there to make a little bit of extra room. I'm gonna have to cut off this uh, pinch seam here too. But that that's part of the Jeep that can't be helped. Uh, I'll get some different control arms to um, recenter the tire a little bit further back but still I'm gonna have to cut that off I, so I wouldn't do that again I bought this uh, tire carrier so I could carry my 35 inch spare with this thing this is a red rock it was the cheapest tire carrier that would work for what I needed but it has dripped goop gunk oil rust out of this hinge since the day I installed it. Like the very next day there were a couple of drops. And every so often I clean all this up and then in a week or two it looks like this again. Uh, so yeah, that can't be good. I love the LED brake light ring I have in there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and the backup camera. 
is super, super helpful. I have a rear view mounted backup camera. I'll show you. That attaches to your rear view mirror and that's the camera. So that's pretty sweet. I love that. Use it all the time. So yeah, those are some things I think I would have done differently. A bigger lift, smaller, lighter bumpers. I'd rather have the extra weight as skid plates up underneath rather than sitting on the front and back. Uh, the skid plates will give me good protection and they'll add weight, but at least the weight will be balanced, not... I think it'll be better. Um, I would get this again. There's a lot of dirt and stuff that used to get in that. Because um, it came like this from the factory. This um, A lot of dirt used to build up in there. Not as much with that. So that's been kind of handy. I would get these grab bars again. These are super handy for getting in and out. These goofy fabric ones are useless they move too much they roll around they twist it's not stable to grab to get in or out of the jeep minor things i would get my smitty belt i think it's a x20 winch i've had that underwater a couple times it still works it works great i love that it's been reliable so far knock on steel um, I got these cheap lights from Radio Shack I think and you can see there's moisture in that one because they've been underwater but they still work they work great um, I think they were 30 bucks from O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto Parts or something well worth it my wife loves this bumper that looks like the frowny face thing I probably wouldn't get that again if it were just up to me, but she has to enjoy the Jeep too. Um, and at least I found one that still had seven slots, so I can at least claim I still have the seven slots. These hood latches have been a fantastic upgrade. Boy, without these, with the original rubber, the hood fluttered and fluttered and fluttered at uh, 80 miles an hour or more. I know it takes a while <laughs> to get to 80 miles an hour, but... Uh, that's still been well worth the money. Um, I had this uh, hood decal custom made. I know that's just cosmetic. But still, every time I walk up to the Jeep or get in the Jeep, I love looking at that. Uh, one of a kind hood sticker. So I would do that again. Um, oh, almost forgot the best part. Ox locker. There's my lever for my ox locker. And I had that installed when I got the Jeep re-geared for the bigger tires. I would absolutely definitely do that again. I don't have a front locker. So when I put it in four wheel drive and I engage my ox locker, I've got three wheels, power to three wheels. And so far, that's gotten me through everything. I definitely would get the mud tires again. These are Milestar Patagonias. They're all right. I think any kind of mud tire is better than, uh, we call those hybrid tires. They're half mud, all-terrain. Uh, I had all-terrains on it, and I don't have nearly the same traction as I do with these mud tires. So I don't know how many things I would have done different or how many things I'd liked, but I just thought I'd make a quick video and put my thoughts out there because a couple of people that I know are looking into getting a Jeep and I'm going to direct them to this. And um, even though this is a JK, most of these things would probably still apply to a JL. So hopefully it'll be helpful for somebody.